Okay, here it is, the great rains of October 2018 here in Fort Worth, Texas, west of Dallas. The whole Dallas-Fort Worth area has been inundated with rain this fall and especially the month of October. And we'll go check it out in the backyard here in a second. But I just wanted to show you what happens at the other side of the street here. And I've got waterproof gear on and I'm pretty warm. It's a little chilly outside, maybe well, chilly for Texas, maybe like 55 degrees Fahrenheit or something, or 60 maybe. But with the rain and the wind, it makes it a lot colder. I uh, feel a lot colder. This water's flowing pretty good, as you can tell. Pretty good pace clipping along here. Got my waterproof boots on and uh, water, waterproof um, get up, the whole waterproof get up. That's, I'm, I'm dry, it's just my hands could probably use some protection. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm totally dry. So that's cool. Well, let's go down. I wanted to show you down here at the, what happens on the other side of the street. I'm pretty dry where I am at my particular house. I mean, for now. <laughs> but this is just, uh, it's going to get a lot crazier up here. I'll show you. And I forgot what time it is. It's about 6 p.m. It's after 6 p.m. Central Time here. And it's been raining like this uh, most recently for probably three or four hours straight like this with just a steady downpour, not much thunder and lightning. Some people have lost power, but it hasn't been too bad. You can see here the water is getting a little bit wider and threatening that, that driveway there. And I have to probably go through the water here if a car comes by. I don't want to get splashed. Uh, checking behind us. Nobody's coming behind us. Yeah. The other day it was coming up in their yard up over here. I just wanted to see if it was doing the same thing here or not. And then I'll shoot some video of the backyard with some massive potential flood in the back backyard of my yard. Not here. This is the neighbor's house. Yeah, so it's swirling here. I'm surprised the car hasn't come by yet. I'm just going to go ahead and walk through it. <laughs> wow, totally dry. First time I've ever stepped through it. I've ever stepped through it. First time I've ever stepped up that much water on the boots. Boots are totally submerged. So yeah, this is uh, this is the most most flooding right here. This yard right here. Dang. The only way to walk back through it is to go over the water or just walk along the curb. Just have to go through the water again. Pretty good, pretty deep water. There's a surviving ant pile. Man, they're just, those ants can survive through anything. Okay. Don't want to get swept away here. Not sure how I'll do this. Uh. I'll just go for it. Yeah, here comes the car though. I gotta time this out. I gotta time this just right. Hands are starting to get cold. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got wet. The water went over into my ankles. It's okay. Just on my left foot only. Switch to the other side of the street. But I'm dry everywhere else. It's starting to get a little chilly. It's probably more like 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 50. Although on my hands it feels like more like 45 Fahrenheit. I don't know. Cowtown, Fort Worth, Texas, west of Dallas. Basically a sister city of Dallas. One giant megalopolis coming down pretty good now. Wow. Dang, it's really coming down. That's my front patio here. Oh, Stepping stones. Boom. Boom. Totally underwater here. Whoa. 
Whoa. And there's usually not water right here. That standing water is because it's been raining so much. It usually drains off and you don't see the standing water there. This normally would be flowing a lot better. I had to kind of dig my own drainage ditch here because before the water would flow that way, down the middle of the yard, it would just flood all right here a lot, a lot. So I figured out to direct the water this way and follow the flow of the of the land, like the slope of it. Hey, Abby, girl, you'd be okay. You got a nice dry room to go into. So there the water flows along there. It's flowing pretty good there, but it is backed up here. Pretty good amount. And over there in the other part of the backyard is a lot of water. And whoa, this is usually not like that. There's a concrete sort of uh, concrete foundation for the chain link fence that's over there. And usually the water goes through that crack and then drains down to the drainage creek in the back. But I'll have to go check it out. Okay, we're running up to eight minutes of video here. Let's go check it out real quick. two big spots of water this this spot hardly ever has any water you know built up in it here's the drainage dish that's flowing and then beyond my backyard is just some like houses that have horse pastures and stuff it's kind of like out, it's a different county out, out there actually that's looking to the west and so they have it's kind of where, like where the city ends right here I'm like in the, one of the last big suburban neighborhoods to, to the west here everybody else is in a like neighborhood out in the country basically or they have some acreage maybe look at that water flowing it used to be worse believe it or not there like four years ago there was a bunch of dirt back here so man the water would just not flow like this this is how it's supposed to flow but if this ever gets there's about three houses that way and if where it drains into the city drainage system if that ever gets backed up then potentially I could probably flood because as you can tell much water we're having and I've already got water in the backyard here anyways I need to stop rambling and get over here I really have to solve this I really have to get this flowing a lot better so I'm gonna stop the video and see if I can get it flowing better okay uh, hands are cold I was able to um, take the shovel here and I what got over there to the corner? I don't know if you can tell if the water's gone down or not. But I was able to take that shovel there and just jam it in the corner, down in the ground, and, and make that little crevice a little deeper to drain the water quicker. See my big old footprints right there. And to stop myself from sinking in the mud, because that's pretty dangerous, pretty deep water. Um, I put, took some of these logs here, about six or seven maybe. There's my big old footprints again. And I uh, very carefully put them on the side of the fence there, made like a little step. Those are submerged logs right now. I'll try to walk on them right now if I can do this. So that's a, there's a log down there, believe it or not. And then, of course, you can see that one right there, pretty easy to see. That's a log right there. And that, that line right there, that's from a log I stepped on to use. 
uh, that is a log down there that gives me some stability a lot there's another one right there can't can't really see it very well but it's right there and then the other one's right there you can see it easier and i think i stuck another one it's really flowing a lot better now see it flows down there into the creek there into the drainage creek it's not a creek but it's a drainage area i think i can get a little closer a little bit closer maybe not but that's flowing a lot better 